Last year I painted this gorilla mural. After seeing it couple days ago I decided to paint another one, but this time a little bit different. Yo, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna paint with my brother again. At the moment I'm waiting for him here at this location. You remember a couple videos ago when I told you that I don't like to paint at the same location in a row? Guess where we at? While we are deciding where to paint next, my brother suggested that we should go and explore the new rusty tank where nobody painted. It was untouched. Like I said before, I don't like to paint in the same spot in a row, but to be honest, it didn't bother me this time. I really like this location, it's a really unique place to paint. wall doesn't have any reference points it's just rusty so I'm gonna do a proper doodle grid I never done this before I always use the reference points on the wall like graffiti tags or cracks in the wall yeah but this time I have to do some doodles yeah so let's start Last time when I painted the rhino next to my gorilla mural, I decided to paint another gorilla piece again. As a big fan of this extraordinary animal, I painted many portraits in the past in my sketchbook. But this time I'm gonna paint him a little bit different, with some combination of different elements from past murals. My brother is done with his fill in while I just finished with my first lines. Now it's time to do the fill in myself with the paint that I prepared the day before. Surprisingly this cheap wall paint works very fine on this rusty surface. The paint dried really fast because behind the wall the sun was shining for the whole day, so the wall was very warm. I knew that I will need more than just one day to finish this piece, because this time I have to deal with a lot of fur and also some feathers. Okay, there's one, two, three and four tanks. Last time we painted there, where I painted the rhino and also the gorilla. This is another tank, which is bigger than this one. This is the size like uh, the smaller one and then you have this bigger one which nobody painted inside. My brother and me are the first ones. It's a really cool place to paint. I really like it. <laughs> I like how the background elements looked like in the end of my last mural, where I used the tape. That's why I want to do the same here. I thought using the tape will take so much time, but to be honest, I was really fast with this method.
Now I want to cover some writings on the wall and the first lines which are popping out with the leftover brown paint from my last piece. While my brother is doing his final touches, I wanted to start painting the face of the gorilla. I made that mistake here where I started to paint with the spray cans first, without priming it. I don't know why, but some spray cans covered this rusty wall really good and some not. I didn't really made a lot of progress today, so I doubt that I will finish the mural tomorrow. This filming process takes so much time and energy away from you. Yo, welcome back. It's day two. Hopefully I will finish this painting today. I don't have much time left, so... Better get started. Okay. It's very dark in here. Yesterday it was very sunny, so there's a lot of light coming in. But today it's a little bit cloudy, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, let's begin. Yesterday I had some problems with, uh, with this black spray paint. I had to use like a cheap one because uh, the usual brand that I paint with uh, is this one, Easy Max, but they don't have it anymore in the storage. So I had to buy uh, a cheap one. And the problem with this cheaper version is that it's uh, very thin and it's very shiny. And when you want to take a final picture, it's a big problem because you have these uh, reflections yeah so i'm gonna keep going and try to make the best out of it yeah i bring with me this uh, black acrylic paint try paint with that to have a better contrast because the spray paint is not very good Okay, I'm done with the black acrylic paint now. Now I'm gonna start painting with uh, the spray cans. I hope there is uh, enough contrast between the spray paint and this black acrylic paint. Yo, welcome back, it's day 3. Yesterday I didn't paint because it rained a lot, so I would be wet if I would drive with my bicycle here. But I have good news, I spent the day to find the black spray paint and I found it in another hardware store which is more further away in the other part of the town. Now I can finally paint it how I imagine it. You know, this is a spray paint. Now I can achieve the contrast that I wish. Yeah, so let's go. There is a little lake 
here. I saw some ducks two days ago swimming in there. A nice little lake. Yeah. Today there is no rain. It's sunny, a little bit cloudy, but it's it is very cold. It it snowed yesterday, but on the mountains. Yeah. A little trophy from my brother. Last time I was done with the mural, but uh, I didn't like it. It was something wrong with the eyes that I didn't like and I couldn't fix it. So I came home, I uh, took a picture of this mural and I uploaded it on my iPad and I worked on it. So I corrected and I figured out what was wrong. So the eyes were a little bit too big and also the left eye was a little bit higher. So I fixed that and also the eyebrows, I need to lower them down a little bit. Also I want to fix the mouth little bit yeah so this was the easy job easy part of the job now I have to correct it here this will be a little bit difficult but we can manage it okay I fixed the eyes now I think it looks now it looks much better I'm really happy with that and let me show you uh, the contrast between the black spray paint and the acrylic paint. This is the acrylic paint and this is the spray paint. You can see the difference. Yo, the mural is finally finished. I'm really happy how it looks like at the end. I hope you also will like it. If you want to support me, my YouTube and uh, mural painting activities, you can do it by Patreon or buy me a coffee. The links are in the description below. Yeah, thank you very much. And this is the final result. Check this out. one do you like more? This gorilla or the gorilla that I painted in the smaller tank? Please let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!